In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry of ClF4. So the first thing we need to do is look at the Lewis structure. And this is the Lewis structure for the ClF4 minus ion. It has a negative charge on it. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure, there's a link in the description how to do that. If we look at this, we can see the fluorine atom here. Each fluorine atom has eight valence electrons. In that central chlorine atom, though, it has more than eight. But that's OK. It can have an expanded octet. So as we look at this, we can imagine that these four fluorine atoms are pushing away from each other. And these lone pairs, they're pushing away from everything as well. That's what creates the molecular geometry. Let's try to visualize that. So the purple, that's the central chlorine atom. Let's add those four fluorine atoms. One, two. You can see they're spreading out to be as far away as they can from each other. Three, four. So at this point, we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. But we need to add those two lone pairs. So we add one, two, and we end up with this molecular geometry. This is called square planar. You can see the square with the fluorine atoms all in one plane, but we do have these two lone pairs that are kind of pushing them to the center there. If we looked at the electron geometry, or we looked at all of the atoms, the electrons and everything, this would be an octahedral electron geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So if we weren't able to visualize that square planar molecular geometry, we could do two other things. One is we could look at the steric number and the total number of things bonded to the central chlorine. So we have our one, two, three, four fluorines, five, six. So four fluorines and then the two lone pairs. That gives us a steric number of six. We looked that up on this table here. Steric number of six with two lone pairs way over here. That's the square planar that we were just talking about. These bond angles here, we would expect to be about 90 degrees. And then this line through the center, 180 degrees. There is one other way we could do this. We could use what's called the AXN notation. For the AXN notation, A is the central atom. That's the chlorine. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to that central atom. We have four fluorine atoms. and N, sometimes called E, let's call it E, that's more common. AXE, E, that's the number of lone pairs. Remember, we had the two lone pairs there. So AX4, E2, if you'd memorize that that's square planar, or sometimes you're allowed to use a table to look it up. So either way, the molecular geometry for ClF4 minus is square planar. The electron geometry is octahedral. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.